hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel for those of you that don't know my name is Lara welcome back to my fashion and lifestyle channel so guys today I have for you a come shopping with me vlog I am currently in Brighton I am here for today just to check out what's going on in the shops it's been quite a while since I've been out um, to the shops and I've got a few pieces that I want to kind of check out so we're gonna go to Zara H&M TK Maxx Cos um, maybe Primark I've not been to Primark for a while um, and also yeah just a few shops really so I was actually supposed to start this vlog in my house but unfortunately I had a content day today where I was meeting with my photographer Beth to take a few pictures for my um, Instagram and I am obviously the last minute person that prepares so I ended up <laughs> just shoving my camera in my bag and then um, leaving so I'll try and see if I can get a quick shot of what I'm wearing today it's quite a nice sunny day in Brighton today so maybe we'll get some beach sh shots as well um, and then I will um, obviously take you to the shops with me as I'm trying on some stuff and maybe we can kind of work through process of how I kind of choose and eliminate some stuff yeah so I'm currently in the car park a few people are looking at me weirdly because I'm chatting to myself but anyway we move but anyway we move yeah so um yeah so let's go shopping I'm currently in Churchill Square um, and then I may take you through the little kind of corners of Brighton so we can um, have some fun together I also need to grab some lunch because I'm starving because any other content creators here raise your hand if on a content day you know I don't know maybe I'm just too excited but I tend to just kind of like wait till I finish shooting my content before I eat um, and luckily I finished shooting my content um, by one o'clock today which means I can eat my lunch now um, yeah so anyway I'm blabbing let's go grab some lunch and um, walk around the shops So I definitely could not resist placing this random shot of these Air Jordans here. How cute. So guys, the first thing that caught my attention is these jumpers and the colours in Zara. Like, wow. They're definitely saying winter is over and um, we're ready for the spring pieces. I love the pinks, the greens, there's um, some browns, there's just so many vibrant colours to pick from and I feel that this summer we're definitely going to be um, in a lot of colour. I love that yellow suit, um, this blue blazer, um, Zara definitely brings out these kind of colours every year but this year it's just I'm um, on another level so I'm very very excited for this summer um, spring period and um, yeah um, I can't wait really Hey guys, I just thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day. I'm still wearing my mask, as you can see. This mirror is very dirty. This jacket is from, this is from HM. This is my t-shirt from the Frankie shop with the um, padded shoulder. And then I've got my leather pants from Zara. And then I'm wearing my, um, I can't speak today were Converse trainers. This is my outfit for the day guys. I also wear my mask even though many people in the shop are not wearing a mask. Um, it's from my necklaces. So this my necklaces, this one is from um, Monica Venera. This one my mum gave to me. This one is from Swarovski. That's my outfit for the day. I'm going to try on some stuff now for you guys um, that I've just picked up and let's see how that goes. So 
guys the first outfit i'm trying on is this yellow and gray cardigan i absolutely loved this cardigan the only thing about this cardigan was that it was a little bit itchy but i love the size of it and i love the fact that it's a cropped cardigan so this will be really really great for the springtime and who does not love yellow yellow is my absolute favorite color so up next I tried on this pink dress. I really like this dress. Unfortunately I got it in a large and I needed an extra large so it was super small but I thought I'll show you anyway although it's, you can see it's really tight there. But anyway I really love this dress. I feel like this dress will be perfect for a wedding um, and it goes so nicely with the um, pink jacket I'm going to try on next but this is such a cute look. I love the sweetheart neck but it was just too tight too tight i need another size so guys this next outfit is just this pink jacket that i picked up i love the fit of this jacket i'm wearing an extra large here guys um it is quite it fits really nicely on the body but the arms are a little bit tight so i would most likely go up one more size to an extra large but this is just such a great jacket for the transition from winter to kind of spring period this is a great jacket to go for i love it with the black and i really think it will be would be, look really great with that previous pink dress So this orange set, I really had high hopes for this, but unfortunately the trousers were just very poorly fitted. In fact, the actual zip broke. This is an extra, extra large. So this is the issue where we talk about all these size differences when you go into the store. But I love the top. I really had hopes for it, but unfortunately it just doesn't fit right. The, the trouser cuts off at a very awkward angle on the feet. So this one was a huge no for me. I had hoped, but it was a no, no. So let's just take a little minute to kind of watch me do my little model walk. <laughs> anyway, I really love this jumper, guys. I think that this um, lime green bright jumper is such a great look. I think this is definitely the color of the season. It's such a great look. I love the fit. I love the, that, that it's quite oversized. I think this was actually a medium. So if you buy this jumper, I would say size down, except if you want that really oversized look. Um, you can see it's kind of wide for me on the neck, but I just love this. Actually, maybe my t-shirt that I'm wearing underneath. But yeah, this is a really great jumper. I love this jumper. So next up is this green trouser suit. I'm gonna say right now, I didn't buy this because I already have a green trouser suit, but I absolutely loved this suit. I loved the trousers. I loved how kind of um, it fitted really nicely and I liked the, um, the jacket as well. The trouser was actually an extra, extra large. So it was, there was quite a lot of room in the waist. So I loved that. I loved the fit. I like how it looks with trainers and I like that you can obviously dress it up with heels. Um, yeah, so I think this, suit is a definite yes for me i think if you're going to get this suit definitely do it i think the trousers was about 29.99 and the blazer was 59.99 i like it there with the gray and i would really i think this is just a great spring suit to have so yeah definitely a good one if you've got an occasion to go to this springtime or you know definitely you can split up the um, jacket and the suit and wear them separately. So up next is this white shirt with this kind of, I don't even know what to call it, that's thrown over it. It's a cute shirt, I like it, I'm, I think it's more it's not really my style now, probably more my style a few years ago, but it's quite cute. I think it would be nice with probably maybe skinny jeans. I like the little kind of waistcoat thing that's thrown over it and that's what kind of drew me to it and made me want to try it on really. So up next is this green leather blazer. 
I really love this blazer. I tried it on in an extra large. The arms were quite fitted for me, so I would definitely need to go up one more size. I love the bottle green colour. I think it did come with a pair of matching um, trousers, but they didn't have my, my size, so that's why I only tried on the blazer. But it is a really nice, rich colour, and I think this is such a great transition into the springtime. Um, obviously, great as a set, and then great separately you could probably really style it with like some trousers um, or even a pair of jeans um, I think would look really great with this um, blazer so guys this yellow suit I absolutely loved I tried on the trousers in an extra extra large it was very roomy on the waist I would still keep it if I was to buy it and just adjust the waist I love the blazer, I love the way that it's kind of like, um, it's not a boxy fit, it fits quite nicely on the waist. Um, I would size up one on this blazer because it fits me too tightly on my arms, but this is an absolutely gorgeous suit. I think this is such, going to be such a great blazer um, suit in the summer. Um, yellow is one of my favourites, but I already have a yellow suit, so... Uh, it's going to take a lot for me to resist this, but I really like this. So guys, up next I tried on this mini dress with this cape coat. I love the no, cape blazer. I love the cape blazer. The um, dress is really fitted. This was an extra large, so I will more, like, more likely go up one more size to an extra extra large so that there is just some, some space on the thigh area for me. But again, mini, mini items of clothing are not really my style, but I had to try this on. I just couldn't resist it. This blazer, I would love to style with a pair of blue jeans in the summer. I think this is such a nice blazer. It will be nice over a dress to a wedding. Well, you know, but I think this is a really nice, nice outfit. Um, and I love the way it looked really but again that dress would be a no for me but the okay guys so we have left Zara now Zara had so many things it had me in a chokehold I ended up being in there for two hours I didn't even get to try that many things on because you're only allowed to take six things into the changing rooms at once and um should be proud of me guys i'm actually vlogging on the outside which is very shocking anyway so we're going to go to h&m now and just have a look and see what's in there now the flannels there but we're not going to go with flannels today because we don't need anything from flannels but maybe we'll do flannels next time So up next is H&M. I love, again, a lot of green in this season. They have this jacket, which is a Frankie shop dupe. Um, I really like these suits, but they do them every year. And I think I actually picked up that jacket to try on. Um, I wanted to try on a blue shirt because I feel like this blue is definitely going to be in this season. I like this shirt in waistcoat. Quite a nice um, look for transition into spring and um, just quite a lot of pastel colours in H&M I think and then obviously this is where the leopard print went to live I love a bit of leopard print um, but I think I've got enough in my wardrobe right now um, but yeah so I really kind of I'm enjoying what's um, currently in H&M at the moment so guys, I tried on this oversized suit. Um, this trousers are an 18 and they're massive on me. Usually the H&M 18 would fit me, but anyway, I guess I need to size down probably one or two sizes. This is a very oversized suit. It was in a kind of pale yellow um, color. I liked it. The only thing is that it reminded me of, um, was that Captain Colonel or whatever his name is from KFC. <laughs> Um, I felt like I needed to be on a riverboat in um, in America somewhere. But it was a really nice idea, but the execution was probably no. Maybe if it was um, more fitted to the body. But 
I already have a kind of a pale yellow suit, so I don't need another one. So up next, guys, I'm trying on this blue oversized shirt with these jeans. I love the jeans. I like the split effect on the um, um, hem of the jeans. But unfortunately, this jeans are a pale size 18 and then they didn't fit me. That's me tidying up the dressing room because I don't know why. Anyway, so I really love the colour of these jeans. As you can see, they don't zip up. It's, it's a no. I really like the shirt because I had an idea of doing kind of like an all blue look. Um, just thought it would be a really nice, um, this kind of ice blue colour would be really nice for the spring and it would be really nice for the shoot, I, think, I feel. Um, so this is, um, yeah, so again, the trousers doesn't fit. I think maybe if I wear the shirt this oversized, could I get away with, with it? <laughs> Probably not. Um, but yeah, so I love um, the shirt. Am I going to get it? Possibly um, no at the moment because I'm sure I probably have something similar in my wardrobe. So guys, up next I tried on this blue jacket. This is such a lovely jacket. I like how oversized it is. I think it was actually $49.99 so I love the way it looks I like this all blue look I think maybe the shirt's a bit too oversized for the look that I'm trying to create but I love this jacket um I think this is definitely like a yes I like the fit of the jacket this is me trying to get a better angle for you guys and then now I'm going to decide to turn the camera sideways. There you go. Um, yeah, so I really like the length of this jacket. I think um, it goes quite nicely. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, whether this is a yes or a no. But I love this blue. This will be a perfect blue for transitioning to springtime. Next, I tried on this oversized kind of Frankie shop dupe. This jacket has been everywhere in fact i think i have about three of them now yeah i've got it in a in three different colors um so this one i definitely wasn't going to take i like the way that this fits though i tried this on in an extra large um so it just i just love the way it fits guys um i like the color again this would be great transition into the spring um, time. Um, I actually even like the way it looks with this outfit. I like the different kind of lengths of the jacket, the shirt, and then obviously the traffic, the traffic, the trousers. So I love this, guys. So, guys, up next, I tried on this satin green wrap dress. Um, I tried this on in a large. Um, I like the way it fitted. Sorry, the color is just not coming out the way it actually looks in real life. But I really love this dress. This is a great dress if you haven't already found your Valentine's Day dress. Um, yeah, I like the colour details. I like the length. I like that I would probably wear this with a pair of like knee-high black boots. Um, that's most likely how I would style it. I really just, I love this. So up next, I tried on this black satin dress. I had high hopes for this. This is a large it's too small they didn't have an extra large that's more likely what i would go for but i love the idea of this dress i think this dress would have been really really nice but i just couldn't be bothered to go and find an extra large but yeah let me know what you think of this one so up next i went into all saints and i tried on this jacket i really like this jacket but i just wish it was a little bit more oversized because i like my jackets to be quite oversized i think this was a size 12 or 14 but it was a really cute look but not for me next i tried on this dress i think everybody on instagram had this dress last year but it's such a beautiful dress the only thing i didn't like about it is that it is quite short for me i would have liked it to get all the way to the bottom of my feet but it's a really pretty yellow dress um i like the lace is it lace or is it kind of coiled eyelet details and i love the little like waist I love the kind of um, embellishment they put there. I think that's really beautiful. Um, and I think this is just a really nice dress to have. The price is still quite up there though. It's a dress is on sale 
but I think it was still about 170 something pounds but anyway very cute very lovely dress I love the neckline I love the wrist detail then I tried on this cashmere jumper this was in a medium so it was really small for me on the arm but I just wanted to try it on it's such a nice feeling material I love the feel of this I love the cut of it if it was a large I would have gone home with this but this is a really cute jumper I think it would look really nice with like brown leather trousers also with obviously blue or black denim this would look really cute with that um, it is a very lightweight jumper so obviously because it's cashmere it's going to keep you warm so guys up next I went into COS and I tried on this kind of stone colour puffer coat I absolutely love this puffer coat I love the fact that it's cinched in on the waist I tried this on in a large I just love it this is such a nice coat to have obviously right now when it's quite cold I love the length I like that it's not very long I love the neck detail but I really just like that cinch kind of in a waist because obviously with a puffer coat it's very difficult to kind of define your waist so I love the way that it's done that and it felt so luxurious guys I love this then I tried on this pink jumper I completely fell in love with, with this pink jumper it's so soft it's such a lovely material this is a must for spring I think it was about $89.99 such a cute jumper so beautiful I like the way it went with the leather trousers I can see this with blue jeans also um it's such a great jumper guys I couldn't just I couldn't stop staring at myself in this this is definitely cos I love cos <laughs> can I say that again I love cos so up next I tried on this black jacket I really love this jacket I could only find a size 14, um, I would have gone up to a size 16 because it is very fitted on the arm so it's very snug to get a jumper under but I wish I could just get the details of this jacket for you but this was an absolutely gorgeous jacket guys. I couldn't resist, I had to try on this green jumper, I think this is again green is the colour of the season, this will be really great in spring, it's such a nice look, the material was great. I just can't say it enough because Cos is definitely my favourite sh um, store to shop in. So guys, up next I went into HomeSense. I love HomeSense. I love all their home decor, their pillows, their throws. This is just a great place to go if you're looking for like home decor pieces, like pieces that you're not going to see anywhere else. Look at those lampshades guys, they're so gorgeous. Um, I also like their little decorated pieces that they've got um, around. They're quite unique and just things that you won't find normally in other stores. I like that little um, golden world atlas thing. Um, yeah, so I just love also the paintings they have. I love their mirrors. If you're looking for mirrors, guys, definitely go into HomeSense. I also like these like little um, kitchen clocks. These are just a really great like clocks you can have if you have like a really nice like farmhouse kitchen I'm definitely manifesting my new home um, also if you can't keep flowers alive I love the faux flowers that they do in home sense look at those white flowers guys these are things that you definitely have for like years to come um, also their gardening section in home sense is really nice we are into the Easter period now so all the decorative pieces for Easter is out and about um, so definitely check out HomeSense guys So guys this is definitely one of my favourite parts of Brighton. I can't remember what the name of this street is or square is um, but I love like the um, I just love the colours in Brighton and I really love this shop it's kind of like an artist where different artists kind of have their paintings and things they used to have an oasis here but it's now closed um, every time I come to Brighton I always walk through this square um, 
I love there's a Ted Baker there which I like um, toast I've never been in here maybe I'll need to go in there next um, up next here is this jewelry store I've actually got a piece a few pieces of jewelry from there they've got a really nice bakery um, I just like this part of, um, of Brighton I just think it's so quintessential and just so beautiful and um, Brighton is just quite a nice little unique place to, to be in so in this square they actually have I think this is a wedding shop kind of store they've got a lot of little kind of tiny businesses around here which I really kind of enjoy um, going into they've got a bear in certain bare minerals store there can't remember the last time I wore bare minerals but anyway they've got that they've got a few little stores here that have some um, designer pieces again another kind of art store for you know great place to kind of support local businesses um, I love that um, so yeah this is one of my most favorite places to kind of walk through whenever I'm in Brighton I enjoyed my time window shopping I didn't actually get anything guys the only thing I got was like a doorknob from Zara home and I didn't take you there but yeah I really enjoyed my day guys I hope you enjoyed spending the time with me here so here's a couple of clips of me at the beach with a runny nose yeah So I would definitely like to apologise for how unsteady my arm is while I'm fleeing filming. Flimming. Anyway, hopefully as I get better with filming vlogs, I will hold the camera more steadily for you. So again, I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me and let me know. Maybe I'll do this on a weekly basis. So guys, as usual, everything that I have tried on, I will try to find links for and list in the description part of the video. The battery is dying now, so I'm going to have to stop the vlog here. So I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me in Brighton and I will see you guys next week. Bye.